célébrités viennent trouver la robe pour parcourir les Golden Globes et le Red Carpet. Nous arrivons chez Lily Hensier. Vous allez voir Rita a une collection qui date des années 30, des années 80. Il y en a pour tous les prix, une collection de bijoux incroyable. C'est un personnage unique et incontournable. Wonderful to meet you. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you to open the door of your all, you know, the vintage secret of this uh, glamorous Hollywood scene. Thank you. Thank you. When did you start it? The store is 33 years old. Wow. And what I and what I like to say about the store is, nobody did vintage before we did. And when everybody did it, nobody did it at such high end. I think you know that we're very connected to Hollywood. Every great vintage dress that's ever gone to the Oscars or the Golden Globes has come from us. And the thing I always want everybody to know is that all the girls who have them bought them. That's very important. It's very important that we never loan a dress. Where uh, you're sourcing, you know, the uh, dresses because what Always I love... from the great people who own them. Oh, okay, only Always. you have to be nice and having a good heart, otherwise you don't want the dress. No, no? just from great people. Great people. Great people with great taste and great style and beautiful okay. clothes and beautiful things. And generally speaking, people who have beautiful things don't only have one beautiful thing. You know, it's a lifetime of buying beautiful things and so. Sometimes I get, I've gotten 6,000 pieces of clothing from one person. 6,000 pieces Six, from one person? From one person, that's right. So, but from like an older person yes, or like course. collection? Seven, and... But not a collection, it's their personal wardrobe. But by the time you're 78 years old, which is when I got her clothing, you're not going to wear what you wore when you were 29. Yeah, especially, you know, everything was like so that's high right. waisted and so that's right. tiny. It's a brand new time, but it's not I love the story of the dress. They say it's one of the most important dresses Carl ever made for Chanel. It was his second collection in 1983. And you know, it's his sense of humor. It's the basket weave fabric, but he had it done on silk. And this outfit was so popular that six really famous women wanted to order it, which you know for haute couture is not possible. Yeah. They made each woman ask permission from the next to order the dress. No. Yes. Oh, that's such a yeah, nice yeah, anecdote. Look at, this, look at the skirt, it's so fantastic. Oh, wow. So this is actually, I've owned two of them. Two of the six that were ever made. We are the ghost squad and we're coming to town. After that many years, how many uh, pieces do you carry? Well, we own about a half a million pieces. Half a million. And I know people say okay, they Okay, guys, own... see you because we're going to start looking Fine. now. <laughs> I know people say they own more than we do, but they don't. I mean, half a million, it's already it's a lot. A lot. It's more than the Met, more than the Louvre. But more than know, the Met and more than the yes, Louvre? Yes, but it's different because we're really predominantly 20th century only. And they have, you know, vast collections that sometimes hundreds of years old. But Met, I think, owns 60,000. Louvre, I think, owns 50,000. But different. Wow. Imagine if I wanted to buy one of those dresses today, it's possible, right? Yeah, you sell course. everything Every, that is in the store. Everything. Okay. And everything that isn't and, in the store. Okay. It's just to the right person, you to, know? Okay. But right you would thing. not cry, right? If oh, I, no. I, <laughs> no, because we take our you money. You don't attach to the no, things? No, not at no. all. 
Because the object is you buy something, you find a good home for it, you take the money and then you go out into the world and see what treasure you can get next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like an addiction. <laughs> I don't know if it's an addic addiction, it's like a process. We're okay. not so rich that we can keep everything we own. So, you know, ultimately it's a passion and it's a business. Okay.